All right. Yeah. What's up? We got Pop and P. Yep. Um, Pop and P though. Yeah. I just want to always tell you, you know, um, how much you impact me as a as a person, as an individual. You know, um, me being a shorty, I was always very um, inspired, you know, by you, you know. And the, the story that I wanted to tell you, the first time I came across you is that um, I seen the commercial break and come on TV though, right? Wow. Come in, so my dad said, you know what? I'm gonna take you to go see Breaking. All right? So we drive over, he said, I'm gonna take you to Oli Free Holy. Remember Oli Free Holy? Yes. And there was a radio shack in that little plaza. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so I would go in there, look at the little cassettes, yes. you know, being yes. excited. Yeah. And then there was a um, warehouse record, and then there was a UA movie theater. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, the theater that I seen Breaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long Beach, yeah, no doubt. Right. Yeah. So, um, I get inside the theater and um, the thing that kind of struck me about like the movie Breakings when it started is like I'm watching the movie theater you know and I see Venice Beach and I'm like I'm recognized I'm from LA yeah. and I see you walk up and I see you look at um, Taco, oh, yeah, Taco oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and those on you yeah, said yeah. Oh, yeah. man turn this so, fool out yeah, 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 yeah. when I seen that like my little heart was like <laughs> that's crazy though because uh, it was like uh, on the spot yeah yeah you was just like, like turn this fool out. Yeah, you should. Yeah, be like 13. Man. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I remember, like, as a kid, that's the way that we battle people. We didn't, we didn't spin the bottle. Nah. We didn't tell you, you know what? Like, I want to battle. You walked up. Yeah. You seen a dude, yeah. and your friend was like, "Hey, turn this dude yeah, out." Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, that's how it was. You know what I mean? Uh, I tell a lot of people that you know, as far as how we, in, you know, grew up in the in the dance scene of those days, especially you know, we say street dance or whatever, especially in California, we would de definitely, um, you know, battle. Actually, we never said battle when okay. I was coming up. We are, uh, you know, when I was when I came in, you know, it's like you want to dance against me, you want to go against me, you want some stuff like that, you know, where and you didn't. I mean, if you if you see somebody that you want to dance against. Yeah, you know, you know, you saw the skills. You want to put your your skills against their skills, so you walk up on them, and say, let's you know, let's get it, let's get it in, or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, it wasn't no sign up or nothing. You know, I mean, those things was happening because when I went out, you know, and, and you go to some certain nightclubs, you can get in and have dance contests. But street battles were different, you know, street or street, uh, you know, uh, competition stuff. So yeah, you can be in a mall, you can be at school, you can be at a. a movie uh, at, a, at a, a movie you know watching a movie even after the movie break a lot of people said they that people were out in the lobby battling and stuff and yeah stuff, so yeah um that's true though Pete. because i remember like um and another thing that struck me is like when you guys was, went to go battle at the radio is when you came out and um you did the front flip yeah you did the front gainer yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm thinking like this, this is supposed to be a popper why is he did the front gainer oh man that was <laughs> like uh you got into you got into flips too at the time you was already flipping. I was already flipping. I've been flipping since I was young, you know, because we used to do that in Fresno. We said, you know, actually this is funny. We used to have, uh, you know, uh, flip battles against different blocks. You know, actually oh, we'd go get okay. a, we'd get a big uh, diesel tire in the tube, blow them up, and then we use that for the for the spring uh, spring to jump off there and just do flips and stuff. So I, I've been into all that. So it was natural for me to. You know, just add that in, and and and, and at that time, you know, doing because I, mean, I used to do standstill backs and to a to a popping move because it was right. it was all about trying to trying to one up your level of something that somebody else wasn't doing. So those were just for us. Those were just additive. You know, when you said I can I can do this and do that. So. Okay. Um. Oh my God, the train in the back. It's all good. So. Edit. Okay. So, um, I, I, um, how did you actually come up with the name Pete, though, like Poppin' Pete, though? Can you explain that? Because your, your your first name is um, Timothy. How did you get Poppin' Pete? My, my, my nickname is Peter Gunn. Oh, Peter Gunn. Yeah, because I was named after uh, like a 1950, I think it was a 50s uh, detective uh, show that used to come on. And the music was dun 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 dun. dun, dun. I was like two years old. My mom said, every time I hear that song, the theme song, I would go to the television with my little cap gun or whatever, uh, cowboy gun. And every time the man would shoot his his gun, 
and I saw the opening trailer uh, a couple years ago, and he was shooting, and they said I was shooting, and they said, boy, that boy show sure love that show, Peter Gunn, mm. so they started calling me Peter Gunn, that was my nickname, then they dropped the gun and started calling me Peter, so I was known for, as Peter in the neighborhood, you know, everybody at school, every, you know, in the neighborhood they knew me as Timothy, Tim, at school it's Timothy, so, but at home, relatives, Peter, 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 so when I started learning how to pop, you got to have, you know, again, you got to have that name. You got a name. Dance name. So, I, um, you know, I'm searching for a dance name. And again, I wasn't even that good yet. Okay. But you still have to have a name. Do you know what so, year that was? 1978. Okay. So, that's when I first started. Uh, and, uh, like, uh, early March of uh, 78. Mm. It's right before, you know. Uh, so, when I was in school, I would, um. I'm trying to figure out a name. So I'm in my English class and writing down names or whatever and I came up with, you know, trying to do popping Timothy, that didn't work. Popping uh, uh, Peter. Okay. Didn't work. And no one ever called me Pete. Mm. Ever. I didn't even like when people try to call me that I got no. kind of upset. So, but in, 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 in when I'm writing the name and I said, when I wrote Popping Peter, I was like, oh, hell no, that, that, that sounds terrible. So I wrote Popping Pete. And I sat there and looked at it. I said, ooh, say, I know, this may work. So I went home after school and I went to Sam, my brother, Boo Boo Sam. I said, hey, Sam, I got a name. Mm. He said, what? Popping Pete. And he looked, because he know, he, 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 he wasn't used to me being, being called Pete either. And he went, yeah, I like that. I like it because it, it just it rolled off better. And it and even my name originally and then when I started defining my name, I spelled my name P O P uh, uh, hyphen I N Pete. Oh, okay. Because you had to say it, it was three parts to that. Pop and Pete. The pop is in me. Mm. That's why I, you know because once I started learning how to how to pop and, and pop hard, I started I started saying the popping was inside of me. So that was my name. You had to say Pop and Pete. Okay. So a lot of people, and I said, they said, what's your name? I said, Pop and Pete. And they said, Pop and Pete? And I said, no, no, you got to say Pop and Pete. You got to pause. Mm. But people couldn't do it, so I'd take it away the hyphen and, and just say, okay, Pop and Pete. But originally, you used to say my name, Pop and Pete. Because Pop is in me. Oh, Pop and Pete. Yeah, Pop is in me. The, pop, the technique of the Pop is inside of my body. So that's why I call myself Pop and Pete. Okay. Yeah. So, Pete, I, um, during that time, though, like, because I know up north there was already, um, there was already popping too, or, or Boogaloo, or Stratton, whatever, though. Did you, when you was in Fresno, did you, did you catch wave of that? I saw it when, uh, first time I saw it was 1978, and, uh, in Fresno at a thing called the West Coast Relays, and the West Coast Relays was a big track meet they would have, um, annually, so they invite all from high, from high school, to the junior colleges to the colleges. I used to go there. Yeah, so they used to come down and after the track meet, after the last day, it's a big dance at the Southern Arena uh, Convention Center. The exhibit hall? The exhibit hall. Be like a thousand people in there getting down, getting partying, doing whatever. And I was 16 years old. Mm. And the uh, first time I I seen what I seen from the Bay mm -hmm. was then. And, um, you know, I mean, a lot of people from the Bay, can, you know, they, they say what they say. That was a, I, it doesn't bother me. I know our history, and, th and their history is different from ours. Okay. And we didn't take nothing from them. We shared, like anything, you share in things. So, the first time I seen, uh, you know, I'm, and, I, and I wasn't even in, getting down in the circle. I'm watching all these different dances because I wasn't, again, I wasn't even good, what even on that level of that. So, I saw somebody coming out doing these arm things, uh, doing this kind of stuff. I asked Sam, like, what style is that? Now, if I thought me, even me, seeing Fresno popping, Fresno boogaloo, Fresno tick, all the stuff that I've seen in Fresno, and I seen something totally different than I than I was used to, and, and again I'm young, I have virgin eyes. It's not me. I wasn't in electric electronic boogaloo. I wasn't in electric boogaloo yet. I'm just Sam's little brother. So when I'm seeing this style that I said, well, what is that? I'm asking my older brother, who was 19 at the time, and me 16, going. What style is that? He said, oh, that's strutting. That's mm. for the bear. So he didn't go, oh, that's that's some shit they do or that's that. He went, oh, that's strutting. He recognized and I said, oh, 
I even looked at him and said, well, that's different from what you guys do, but that's still, that's dope. I said, I, mean, I didn't say dope. I said, that's hard. Because yeah. Then you say hard, you don't say dope. We, well, that's what dope is. West Coast slang, yeah, hard. Yeah, I said, that's hard. I said, man, that's hard. Funky. Then I saw another style from that they was doing called air. Somebody was doing air pose and this guy, and I said, air oh, pose? I never heard of that. Yeah, that's when you see air, doing like, uh, 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 uh. And I saw this guy doing it. I asked Sam, what is that? He said, I don't know. Sam went to the guy, said, Hey, uh, what style? What's, you know, what style is that? He said, oh, "Where you from?" He said, "I'm from, Sac I'm from Sacramento." Mm -hmm. He said, "This is called air pose." And I said, "Oh, you know, not saying I don't know if this guy made it up himself, meaning that he was only one doing it, or it was something." But he said he was from Sac 